you guys are never going to guess how much better this experience has just gotten with this tire company. I got something for you. I first want to say welcome back, loud and proud crowd. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I just posted a video on my new channel, Team LMP, and I'm going to be posting another one on there tomorrow. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel. It's getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers already in less than 12 days, I think. So super cool. You guys are awesome. We've got a couple of pieces of fan mail. By the way, P.O. Box always in the description below. We're going to get to that in just a minute. We've got a new banner for the shop. As you guys know, we have built a relationship over some time here with Pusher. More and more as time goes on. And we now have a Pusher banner for the shop. We got a new banner for the shop, Pusher Intakes. Um, guys, like I always say, check them out. If you guys have any intake needs for your trucks, it doesn't matter if it's a power truck, a Duramax, a Cummins, Common Rail 12 out, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, they, have, they have what you need and uh, they'll hook you guys up. So um, definitely go check them out. Links are always in the description below for their website. They have great parts, great service. And uh, yeah, anyways, then we've got a story about why we've only got one tire here and not four for Big Stinky. And uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. We got our pusher sign up there. Pusher, airs everything proudly made in the state of Florida. Definitely go check them out, link in the description. Now let's get to opening a couple pieces of fan mail that I got in. Let's get into the letter first and then there's a little box. This is from Eddie out of North Carolina. It says, hello, my name is Eddie from North Carolina. I've been watching your video since you bought the first gen and brought it home and I've watched about every video since then. I love your content, but would like to see a cold start on the 7.3. You and a couple of the YouTubers have inspired me to start my own channel about a month ago and I would love a shout out. We have a 2016 Ford F-150 that I would love to make videos on, along with my boat. I have made a couple videos so far, but stopped because I don't have anybody watching them. So a shout out would be greatly appreciated. My YouTube account is keep on trucking, all caps. And the profile picture is me shooting a gun. I can't wait for the give for the truck giveaway this summer and definitely will be entering. Love what you're doing with all the trucks. Good luck on the builds. PS, I said what my profile picture is because there are a few other accounts with the same name. Sincerely, Eddie. Okay, sweet. Definitely, I will leave that on the screen where it was there. Keep on trucking as his YouTube account. I have a few words of advice for YouTube accounts. Um, for example, like me, gladly give you a shout out. No problem, man. You send in a letter, absolutely appreciate it. I love that stuff. You want the extra mile versus, you know, messaging me on Snapchat or something like that, which I get tons of every day. So I highly appreciate you sending something out and the letter of thanking me for the content and stuff. Some words of advice for YouTube channels. I've got a series that I'm going to have come out that kind of goes through everything that I do step by step. And it's going to be more in detail and more involved and the background of what I do. And the reason it's going to be a downloadable series for purchase is because like there's some powerful, like valuable stuff in there that can literally, you can make a career out of. Um, that's gonna be available soon, hopefully this summer if I can manage. But for YouTube channels, just the basics. Create content you could see yourself sitting down to watch and enjoying that you think might other people might enjoy because a good rule of thumb is if you sit down and watch your video and you're like, I would never subscribe to a channel that posts videos like that every day. So there's gonna be some, but there's a chance there's not gonna be too many other people that would sit down to watch it every single day. So just kind of think of something like that. And then when it comes to titles and thumbnails, you have to make titles and thumbnails that are going to strike curiosity, grab attention, and make people go, hmm, that sounds kind of tempting. I gotta click on that video and see what that's about. It's the number one thing for YouTube. The saying is, your video is only as good as your, your clickbait, your clickbait, your thumbnail, and your title, so to speak. That's what they mean by that. And you have to have in your title, your description, and in your tags, things that correspond with the video content, mostly in your description and in your tags. So for example, in your tags, in, in your description where you put down keywords and stuff, make sure you put like, let's say, since I do Cummins diesel stuff mostly, I do Cummins diesel, 12 valve, 24 valve, common rail, injectors, turbos, um, compound turbo, you know, stuff like that, Borg Warner, you know, different stuff. Just, just, you know, tag stuff that is in direct relation to the type of content that you make. So don't go putting like real estate, houses, summer, beach, Florida, you know, like uh, uh, spring break, stuff like that. And then diesel truck, a beach ball, like stuff like, like just, you know what I'm saying? Like don't mix it up because as soon as you do that, YouTube has no idea where to rank your content. And since they have no idea where to rank it because all your t keywords and tags are all over the spectrum, they just don't rank them really at all. That's That, that can make it really tough to go, grow a channel. I think my first um, two weeks on Loud and Proud, I posted daily. I had a thousand subscribers plus in just two weeks, um, which was a big deal for me at the time. But 
I learned a lot of those mistakes from my other channel that I grew, and it took me a year to get a thousand subscribers on my other channel. So think about that. I went from a year to get a thousand to two weeks to get a thousand because I stuck to a certain method that I found out was the way that you had to do it to grow, and it makes an insane difference. So those are some tips. Gotta have really killer clickbait. Clickbait, in other words, just interesting, curiosity striking thumbnails and titles that grab attention and strike curiosity. Good descriptions, mostly that just have a lot of keywords. It doesn't have to be like a long paragraph or anything, but just descriptions with keywords that rank your video with where it should be in terms of content, things that are related in direct relation to that content. And then in the tags, same thing. Basically put the same type of keywords you put in your description in the tags. And I copy my title and I put it in the description, the tags, all that stuff. So it's all there. Anyways, keywords, keywords for advice because you said people weren't watching your videos. That can be a huge part about it. And then also just make sure you make content that you enjoy first off, but that you think you would enjoy watching every day that you think other people might enjoy. Because if you wouldn't enjoy it, there's a there's a strong chance there aren't going to be too, too many other people that would. Um, so anyways, just some words of wisdom there. This is from Cody out of Manchester, Michigan. What is this? I don't know what that is, but we're about to find out probably. Read this, I don't have to put it in the edits. There's his YouTube and there's his Instagram. Pause it if you need to, but we're gonna get to it. It says, what's up Malachi? Shout out to you and your channel for giving me pointers on mine. You have been an inspiration. My channel is sporting a 6.0 shorty race truck build, 6.0 tow pig build, and a 12 valve daily. I enclosed a gift from one YouTuber to another. This Mac racing plug will bump up the 12 valve engine to 30 rear wheel horsepower. I hope this is the beginning of a YouTube friendship and maybe we can get together for a meetup or video one day. Thanks for the awesome videos and much appreciated. The shout out, keep the videos rolling and I look forward to talking with you in the future. Thanks, Cody. Well, thank you so much, Cody, for sending that in. I've never seen anything like this before. So I will definitely look into this more and see how it's supposed to be used. And now the topic of the video. Yes, there's one tire in the shop right now. One, I actually like the tread pattern. It wasn't the one that I wanted. I wanted the Patriot Torque MTs, but apparently those have been long gone, but they still let me order them for some reason. And then they got back to me a month later and said they're no longer available and they should have told me. I would have taken them off the website if I were them and not let people keep ordering them because it kind of creates issues. And I didn't get my tires for six weeks. And now that it's been six weeks since I've ordered, I got one tire, not four tires, one. Okay, now I'm not one to put companies on blast, it's just not my thing. I'm not gonna go name in the company that I bought these tires through, but I can tell you I've had nothing but issues with this company. It's a little bit of a bummer, but I ordered Patriot tires a month ago. Now, I, there's gonna be people in the comments, oh, you should have known they were, I didn't know they, they didn't make them anymore. I saw them on the website, they said for sale. It says, you know, selling out soon. I was like, okay, sweet. Oh, my tire's rolling away there. Nope, oh, stopped. Caught him in the act. No, but they said that uh, selling out soon. I was like, okay, sweet. They still have they still have a set of four. I'm going to order them. Well, actually, two weeks go by, and I call them, and they said, oh, yeah, they should be shipping soon. This and that. Still didn't hear anything about them being gone. Yeah, they'll be shipping out soon. Another two weeks go by. I call them. Video's on the Team LMP channel. I call them, and I was like, yo, dude, where are my tires? It's been a month, and I haven't seen my tires. I haven't even gotten an email saying that they've shipped. Like, what's going on? They're like, oh, yeah, so, you know, about that, uh, we don't sell those. Thanks for calling me, you know what I mean? Like, I need tires for this truck. This It's supposed to be all over social media to promote it and get people excited, get people going, get people envisioning having that truck and built and ready to go. Like, I'm trying to do that because that's what I do for a living. If I can't promote this thing, I'm losing literally thousands of dollars if I can't promote it, I can't get it to new people, and then new people won't be able to find my channel to be able to ha have a chance at winning this truck. I said, that's kind of a problem, you know? Like, so he's like, yeah, you know, you know, here's what we can do. We can send you the, the next best thing that we have that's the closest to the price that you had already spent, and they discounted the tire a ton, and they got it, uh, yeah. They, they basically gave me a massive discount on the tires, but of course they still charged me more, which I, I was a little bit frustrated about. They're like, okay, whatever, you're getting a more expensive tire, but when it's been a month of inconvenience and then they say, oh yeah, by the way, it's gonna be more money because it's a nicer tire, I'd be like, um, how about you pay for it because I just lost a month, which cost me thousands of dollars in the next coming month. I said, that's not, like, that's not cool. That's not really acceptable, you know? So it's, you know, whatever. The guy was super nice about it though, so I, I cut him a ton of slack and I didn't really, I was really, really, you know, I was really calm with him and, you know, whatever. Because, you know, he, he's just doing his job. He's like, yeah, the place that nobody ever gave me a word about until just now, so I'm taking care of it, you know, taking things into my own hands and trying to get this problem solved. So 
I mean, that was nice of him, but still, like, from a company's perspective, like, get your stuff together. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't have them, get them off the website, you know? So, just kind of a pain in the butt. I get the tire today, I go out there, I was waiting around all day, because FedEx is like, okay, it's required signature, there was no time frame, it just said between 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. I was like, great, you know, like, I don't know when it's gonna be here, so I just had to just do stuff around the shop, I gotta fix the mower here in a bit. Somebody coming up to the door, uh, almost four in the afternoon, mind you. So I'm here at the house today. I was gonna go bush hog and work at the farm and stuff and get the cl fields cleaned up. And I had to wait on these tires because they're gonna be in today and it's mandatory signature and all this stuff. Long story short, it wasn't mandatory signature when the guy got here, he just dropped it off. And then he was about to ready get in his truck and leave. I said, hey, there's only one tire right there. Like, where, where are my other tires? He's like, well, that's the only one that's in my truck. He's like, were you expecting four? I was like, well, yeah, you know, like I need four tires, you know, for my truck. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm expecting four. He's like, oh, well, maybe I'll have the next three tomorrow. I was like, why are you shipping one of four tires? I, I mean, he probably didn't load the truck. He, somebody else just loaded up and just maybe they only saw the one and the other's buying boxes or something. I don't know. Crazy, you know, just one thing after another. I've got my truck scheduled, my black truck here scheduled to get these tires and the fuel Maverick wheels put on it tomorrow afternoon. And now I've got one tire what am i supposed to do with one tire i hope the tires come in tomorrow the rest of them if they don't that's not cool like i said i gotta get over and have the mower fixed my brother can mow this and i have to get to the farm get some tractor work done on bush hogging around the fields and cleaning stuff up in less than 24 days the truck giveaway is starting so i have a video on my other channel that'll be up there tomorrow about some of the frustrations i mean just people complaining like it's not cheap stuff and it's all coming out of my pocket my bank accounts it's not cheap so when i hear people complain about i've just been twenty dollars to win a truck it's just kind of like crazy it's like what about me you know what i mean like what think about how much money i've spent and i might lose money like it's it's crazy you know it's kind of discouraging it regardless of trucks getting given away if people enter or not i mean it's somebody's gonna win the truck whatever hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace